Have you ever asked yourself the question, what would 5 million battle chips spent in Thronebreaker crystals get you? And as well, would it be seen as a good investment? Hello everybody, welcome to an interesting video. So this is all started off by, uh, first of all, I asked that, because uh, Carol was doing, uh, from my alliance, uh, was doing an opening of these 5 million battle chips. And I wanted to have a look at like what the results were. And do bear in mind, everything's RNG. So it's like, going, oh, would this be different if someone else did 5 million battle chips? Quite possibly. So what we want to do in this video is we want to compare against some previous stuff that I've done with RNG Wars and also what uh, Carol gets as a result. So it's a very kind of like a quick video to kind of like, uh, first of all, get us started because this will be the basis of this particular video. Uh, and as well, we'll be, we'll be asking a question, you know, a question in the comment section. Do you think that Thronebreaker Crystals are the way to go when you're doing high volume openings? Because this does put into perspective some certain aspects. By the way, these aren't going to be all spun open. They are going to be popped in a moment, but it's interesting to see what's in there. There's six stars punisher that would be pretty cool to see um but also there's some things to note which i've got some notes that to uh, follow like you know uh carol has 55,000 uh battle chip 55,000 uh, units at the start of this video and as well has 10 million battle chips total and as well um is on 13 million gold so you can see on screen these are the throwing break crystals being popped open 31 of 100 1125 units and uh, then it's going up to 2600 units we we'll talk about the golden seconds that uh, amalgamates. Ten of those energy refills are there, popping open again for three thousand three hundred and seventy-five units, and then we're going again for uh, three thousand seven hundred and fifty. So I think that was predominantly gold just in that particular pop right there. Four thousand one hundred and twenty-five units to ten mil gold, and then we've got final nineteen crystals to go. Four thousand eight hundred and seventy-five units and 11 mil gold, final nine being popped open for us, and it's 6,000 units total with just shy of 13 million gold. Interesting, okay? Very interesting. And as I said, this is gonna be the basis of uh, this particular video and situation. You can see the player ends on, Carol ends on 26 mil uh, with uh, 61,418 uh, units. That's a lot of units. So regardless of like of this, there's some things to kind of like to, to note and bring into the situation. So we're gonna now move to a spreadsheet. Now, as I said, to make this video, I kind of thought let's make a video on like the RNG situation of it and as well like the thought processes around it. So we've got some notes which you can see on the screen right now and as well um, from a previous RNG Wars. So if you remember, I've created now two episodes in the RNG Wars series. I do plan to go back to it, but there's been some stuff on where I've had to kind of sync a lot of the units into, uh, sync a lot of the arena, bath, uh, arena crystals into stuff for uh, you know content and energy refills I've had to buy because I've been behind with grinds but in any case in these particular videos which I've created spreadsheets for it goes, does a comparison of what a player would have in doing uncollected ones versus what I would do in the same kind of situation or RNG RNG wars like you know uh, Duckstro did 10 uncollected crystals, 100,000 battle chips, of course, got 192,500 gold and 150 units versus my 10 uncollected, which got 365, 367,500 gold and zero units. Good for the gold, bad for the units. And units is the thing that I'm looking for as a free to play player to kind of like grab uh, for things like Cyber Weekend, stuff like that. Okay. Now, what I've done for this is I've totaled from my previous two RNG Wars videos information of the battle chips that were spent and from my perspective and the player's perspective and that's a total battle chip spend with mine and their results of 2.2 mil battle chips now as you just saw in the video the throne breaker video what was good and what was bad about it and again we'll kind of refer to the notes as we go so the units uh, 6,000 units to 13 mil gold again we're going to refer back to this as we go because it's you know it's, it's important information as to the part of the video because the questions that remain from this is where would you want to go with this now the thing is with 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 carol carol like what's the what's the kind of like the need here and it could be gold. Like, look, gold is a very kind of like real problem for a lot of players. Acquisition, resource management, um, you know, grind of content. Maybe you don't want to do incursions. Maybe you don't want to do arena. Uh, you know, th th there may be different reasons. I'm, I'm not kind of get, getting through like uh, Carol's kind of um, like head on the matter. Uh, but look, it's down to personal choice. That's the main thing I've put in my notes. It's down to personal choice. And also, would you want to do 100 Thronebreaker Crystals costing 5 million battle chips? And again, 
depends on what you want from it. If we're looking at the situation here with the previous RNG videos, that 2.2 mil got 6,000 units is exactly the same as like that. And that may be the thing. You may go, okay, where do I want to go with my crystals when I get when I get battle chipped? And again, very serious kind of to topic for those that um, are non-spending, free to play. They want to make those decisions. These um, these kind of arena crystals, they could either go one of two ways. For me personally, at the moment, I normally go for arena crystals and go for small increments and just pop them open. Sometimes it goes good, sometimes it goes bad. I will be potentially saving up for a special RNG wars that will look to save up 2.2 mil battle chips in either spending, uh, which I will probably do arena crystals and I won't do uncollected. Even though this kind of vid the videos that we saved up the battle chips got different variables to it, like maybe like some of these were uncollected, some of these were just standard arena crystals. I personally feel like if I'm doing something that is, I reckon two two mil or like one mil, and usually I do say if you've got 500k, do arena crystals. If you've got 500k plus to about five mil, do uncollected. If you've got five mil plus do Thronebreaker ones, but it depends what you want. If I was looking to get units, I may be more inclined to do uh, this process right here, spreading them out over things like uncollected pop five, then go down to arena and then pop like a certain amount and always kind of like look at just, just mixing it up because you don't know from RNG to RNG what you're going to get. And as I said, we're looking at the situation here. And, and, and Carol may be looking at this situation going, do you know what? I really need gold more than I need units. I mean, that's pretty obvious, especially if you look at on screen um, right now and see that, uh, you know, at the end of this, Carol has 61,000 units. Do you really need any more units? Possibly, possibly not. Cyber Weekend, other things that pop up. To be honest, that's enough units right there to do Cyber Weekend, have enough over to do some um, of those equal, equal caliber greater gifting comparison crystal things in December, some other kind of like random deals, maybe have a little bit left over for uh, July 4th deals that I haven't even break a sweat. So that, and it, that's, that's still another five, he's still have another five mil of those uh, battle chips left to go. So um, it, it could be a case that, 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 that that's what Carol wanted to achieve and Carol has done it. So that could be a massive thumbs up for that. But I thought it was very interesting to kind of like go over, as I said, the RNG factors to matters as to, you know, both circumstances got 10 of those energy refills. Okay, it's exactly the same. 300 unit value. Um, that's good. They got That's equal. But then, you know, it's down to a personal preference as to RNG. I would be interested to find out, and maybe I'll do a poll for this particular video, um, or I'll put something in, um, or, or you know, the comments, uh, put something in the comments about where you would kind of take your like spend, and also would you be satisfied with this? Would you be more inclined to spread your spend of your arena crystals into uh, things of lower increments, like? the uncollected arena crystals and arena crystals versus doing more of an extensive spend on things like one crystal for 50,000 battle chips. Where do you really stand on this? So put it in the comment section as to like where you see your kind of like spread of spend of matters. As I said, I thought this was a very interesting topic to go over, especially because as I said, different strokes for different folks. You choose what you like as to where you're going with it. But where's the priority here? Is it gold? Is it units with these particular things? But as I said, I'm pretty certain that Carol will be very happy with like what they got because, you know, they have now got 20, they had 13 mil gold, now they got 20 mil gold and uh, that ain't too bad. Uh, and as well, 61,000 units ain't too bad. So yeah, thoughts in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video. Interesting little deep dive. Check out some other content located on screen and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye for now.